this video tutorial, I'm going to share with you some of the features in the Lenet CRM or dashboard so you can see all the things that happen behind the scenes and how it all works. In order to get to it, all you need to do is click on the Lenet icon and then click on CRM. This will automatically open the CRM and dashboard and the first thing you'll see is all of your connections. This is everybody that's ever you know, it's in my network, and in my network I've got 3,480 uh, people. You will see their name, you will see what they do, uh, you will see their tags, and these are all customizable. You'll be able to click on uh, a particular link and s directly see this person's profile. You can also uh, change the number of profiles uh, you see at any given time. So instead of 10, I made it 25, and so on and so forth. And it's a great way to get access to your um, to your network very easily rather than having to go through LinkedIn. This is your entire network. The other thing you'll see uh, and the options you'll see is uh, the accepted tab. And the accepted tab is anyone that's recently accepted uh, our connection requests. You need to refresh the list to make sure that it shows the most up-to-date number of people that have actually joined your network from a personalized message that you've sent from Leonard. Now this will only display people that have uh, been uh, have been added or con contacted through Leonard. If you've done it manually, they will not appear here. Once you get here, you can see the person's name and you can click on their name and see their profile. You will see a follow-up message. Uh, in this case, I didn't have one. And you can see any tags. There's a few options that you can do here. One is edit the message itself. And because I didn't put one, I'm gonna add one here and personalize it. And I will say, thanks for accepting my connection. Look forward to staying in touch. Regards, Martin. You have up to 2000 characters to put in there and it's a great way to continue the conversation after somebody is accepted. The reason why we uh, allow you to do this and pause this and not automatically send this follow-up message, even if you added one, is because sometimes you would find that people have uh, funny first names and you might want to actually, instead of putting uh, the first name as you see it here, you might actually want to type in their name uh, because maybe it's all in caps or whatever. But if, you, if you're happy with what you see, you can just leave that and uh, Leonard would automatically uh, add the right uh, the right name. So I'm just going to quickly add all of the different messages because I hadn't done it uh, pre previously and I and after that I can show you some other things you can do. So for example the other thing you can do is individually delete if you don't actually want to send them anything and the reason why we add this feature is because somebody after you've sent them the message and you haven't sent this follow-up one um, they may have actually emailed you straight away and said hey why don't we catch up for coffee or something so sending a, an automatic thank you welcome message follow-up message might look weird so we don't send them straight away. Well, Leonard doesn't send them straight away you have the option to send them manually or delete if they've actually engaged with you this particular case I'm just going to delete that one after you've done that, you can individually send the thank you message and I'm just going to show you how to do that. Just click on send and it automatically will send this message or you can send to all at once. So if I click send to all, it will automatically send it if you're satisfied that the whole list should get it. To show you that these people have received it, all you need to do is go to messages, refresh that page and you will see that this person has received the personalized thank you message. So that was my original connection request. And this is a, the subsequent. As you can see, his first name is a lot longer than normally. So I could have edited it and said, hi, Joe. And that's why we allow for this change in the, uh, in the CR. The other thing you've got is the pending connections. These are people that have not yet accepted and as you can see, there's quite a few people here, seven, and maybe if I refresh it, it might be a few more. But these are connection requests that have been sent by Leonard for you uh, and haven't yet been accepted. And to find them, all you need to do is go to my network, go to manage all, go to sent, 
and here's the list. So instead of withdrawing them manually, Leonard gives you two options. You can delete them from here automatic, or manually, one by one, so you don't have to do it there. Or you can delete them all at once, or you can delete the few that you want. You have multiple options. So by checking this top box, you can check all of them, and then you can delete all of them. Or you can just choose maybe two, and delete those, delete selected, or delete individual. One of the things that happens is as you send more and more connection requests, this is gonna, um, there's gonna be a lot of people that don't accept for whatever reason. And you wanna make sure that you don't have a massive list pending there. Another way to do this is actually going to your settings. And in the settings, you can automatically set it to withdraw within 30 days or 60 days. So you don't ever actually have to ever touch it. If you set this setting to 30 days, after 30 days, if they haven't accepted, the system will automatically de delete those. When you click on pending, again, I'm going to delete them all for the purposes of this tutorial. You click delete, and this would instantly delete and withdraw all of the connection requests that, are, that were pending. Now I'm going to share with you how to add different templates. <clears throat> and these templates are quite useful because um, you don't have to do the cut and pasting job all the time. So the first template you can add is a connection invitation and it's very simple. You can add as many as you want. What's important to know is that the title is not something that the recipient will see. They will only see the message. And this is just a way for you to try different connection requests that are going to drive different conversions uh, for you. You can add and delete and edit any of them, but for the purposes now, I'm just going to show you how to add one. Again, this is just a, um, a title that they can't, uh, they can't see. Sorry. And then you can just type in what you want. And again, to personalize it, you can write or click on the uh, code. Um, so your profile. Thought it, thought it would be worth while connecting. Regards, Martin. You got up to 300 characters and use them wisely. And you can put as much information as you want. Uh, you can even put um, email links. Uh, you can put website URLs. You can do all sorts of things. So it's quite powerful. And then you can save it. Uh, if you wanted to delete one, you can just by clicking on delete. And again, if you wanted to edit it, you can do so. So you can put as many as you like here and they will appear in the connections uh, feature once you try to send some connection requests. The follow up message is what happens when somebody has accepted the message and it's templated as well. You can put as many templates as you want and it works the same way. And the title again, uh, will not be seen by the recipient. Uh, thanks for connecting. First name, this will personalize it. Uh, look forward to staying in touch. And again, because it's a, it's a message, you can put it to 2000 characters. You save that and you're ready to use it whenever you want. Now the messages templates is for that. For messages and here is one that I added earlier and you can edit you can delete you can add you can do everything that you want and again it's a great way to uh, add a lot of different messages that you would send to different people same thing for emails now one feature one thing that's very important about emails is that there is a subject line that definitely the user the recipient would read so when you add it you will have a title that they will not be able to, the recipient will not read a subject line that is the email that they will receive and then the actual message itself with up to 2000 characters. One other thing you can do is upload and attach all sorts of different things. So that great, gives you great flexibility when you're sending emails. Again, you can delete, you can edit, you can do all sorts of different things. And it's a very great way to um, to have these templates ready to go uh, so you don't have to go and cut and paste. 
The last uh, template you can add is the tags and you can have hundreds upon hundreds of tags. You can add, delete, do as much as you like. Um, and it's a great way to identify uh, different people. And these are fully searchable in the Lennon CRM. So make sure that you think of them uh, wisely and how you want to use them and so on and so forth. Uh, this is an overview of uh, the CRM. There are more and more features that are coming all the time, uh, so make sure that you stay up to date with the videos. But I hope this has given you a good insight of what you can do with the CRM. If you have any questions, please don't hesitate to email us at support at and we'll be happy to help.